Hi, my name is Joe Kerman. I'm 30 years old. I've never had a job. I didn't go to college. I kind of started a family business when I was about 15 years old and rode the dot-com boom a little bit. And I'm trying to figure out what to do next with my life. My whole life, I was that kid who wasn't playing soccer. I wasn't on the football team. I didn't take swimming lessons. I was scratching my basement, taking things apart until I got big enough to figure out how to put them back together again and start building cool stuff. So I found this thing called the Hackerspace. And if they would let me live here, I think I would move in. We get to build stuff, we get to make stuff. Anytime somebody comes up with a crazy idea, instead of telling me I'm crazy and sending me back in my basement, I get told, yeah, sure, let's do it. Not tomorrow, not next week, we'll do it right now. We can get commercial grade projects here. We can do really cool things here. We sent a balloon to space last week. So what I do here lately is I build 3D printers, which I think is a damn good chance at getting my rent paid without having to actually go get a real job. 3D printer is Basically a hot glue gun bolted to a regular old inkjet printer. You draw one layer of an object, move up a little bit, draw another layer and another layer and another layer, and eventually you get this. A full, real, hard, plastic 3D object. We can even, even have moving parts, assemblies. These objects to have professionally made can cost hundreds of dollars. We can do them at the Hackerspace for pennies. A prototype manufactured online would have cost about $850 for this piece of plastic. Uh, if you have a hackerspace and a 3D printer, it costs about five and a half cents. I think that there's a big enough demand for some of these things. They're completely open source and free, but you still have to buy it from somewhere. So I think that I'd be able to use my expertise, use the hackerspace's expertise, and be able to get this in your hands for cheap, and at the same time, still support the idea that it's free and open and perpetuate. Because frankly, the more people that get these, the better. 